what's up? This is Tony. Um, I'm thinking about buying a new hedge trimmer because, uh, you know, the KM1, it works great. You know, I've had it for four years. The attachment, I've had, went through two attachments so far because I trim a lot of bushes. Um, anyway, here in Georgia, our bushes grow like nuts. So, um, anyway, but I'm thinking about buying one that's not a KM because I the bolts... The KM bolt strips out. It's just kind of been annoying for, and I'll still keep that. I'll still keep that tool, but I'm, um, you know, for tax write-off reasons, I'm thinking about um, buying another head trimmer right here because it's this the thirtieth, and um, you know, I don't have employees or anything, so um, you know, so tax write-off, you know, is a is a problem. So um, let's go inside, and I'll put you on the GoPro chest mount, and we'll go inside and uh, see what they got. How you doing, buddy? Okay. Yeah, I do. I measure mine. It's 80 inches, the one I use right now. So. So, combi. HL56, and then that's the right. 94. Okay, yeah. Pretty good so, like, this is the what I my length right now, although mine looks different than that. That's the new style. Is it, like, better or something? Uh, it's, it's lighter weight. A little oh, okay. The blades are a little bit longer, too. Well, that's a good thing. Lighter weight is a good thing. Yeah, for sure. So, that's we cool. don't know. Oh, so, I mean, you're only... You sh I think I measure is about 9 inches. It's not too much less. Uh, benefits, it's going to be a little lighter weight. Less leverage. Right. Uh, downside is less length. But right. Depends on what you're doing. Like <laughs> everything else. Yeah. yeah. And this is new. I really like this. My dad has a couple of these. Which it's not these. It's the old. Uh, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. And man, we've had those for 10 years. Never had an issue with them. Even though they're not even commercial. Yeah, no, those, um, those were good engines. They're just, yeah. And I just, like the the new style ones. I really like too. It's good. They crank a little so easier. So this one. But I love my '94 R Weed Eater though. It is amazing. Yeah. Man, this one. The same. It's right. Light in it. It's really light. Yeah. Like the way it feels in your hand, it feels better than that one does. It does. Yeah. Which I think the '94 is technically even a little lighter. You know, like yeah, the 94 weeder is a little bit lighter than that. It is, yeah. But, uh, they, all so I wonder... The same gearbox. Okay. Oops, sorry. So that's even just a couple inches more than what I have. Mm -hmm. I like this, though. The 91. I just put them all over there. Uh huh. So if you want to compare the weight of it for the length. Yeah. But there's not much price difference between this one and this one, is it? Not at all, man. I wouldn't buy it based on price. That, you know, right. What you can do with it. Pretty good bit of length difference, though. But that one's not that heavy. Yeah, I mean, this one's going to be just as easy to use as that one. And plus, you can reach taller bushes. Yeah, or deeper ones as well. Right, right, yeah, because a lot of them have, you know, shrubs that are ten foot that way. And so you're, you know, there's several places where I'm doing that up on the ladder and everything else. Um, what about that one? That's the one other option. I really like this. Stuff. It to yeah. Stuff. You know, they make two of these. There's one we haven't been stopped. This is the one we have today, but this is the shorter. They make one that's longer. Right. benefit of this one is you can not use a ladder uh, a lot, some of the time, you know, because you can go up on the bush, up, you know, you can do that up on the top of some of these tall shrubs. The only thing, though, is I did have a problem with that on my KM, particularly, I mean, this thing went out like 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, it went out like a year yeah. later, which is interesting. And I kept it grease and everything. And like, you know, your brother said, I mean, it's going to cost like 250 to fix it. And it's only, you know, 300 for the whole the attachment. Right. Yeah, um, you're off. So I was kind of like, no, I'm not going to buy an articulating one again. So I've just been using a ladder this whole year. Um, so you're saying, I mean, but I've never had a problem with the, with the non-articulating ones. So you're saying it is just more moving parts. Well, you got the but, gear coming. I don't know what was wrong with yours, but you got a gear that's, you know, like a pinion gear here. And so there's, you know, right in here there's wear, and then, then you have the regular wear from the shaft. But, you know, theoretically it shouldn't give you any more trouble. But, you know, there are moving part, more, more parts in there. And so, yeah. like, if, if, if all the gears were wore out in the head like that, that's why it gets so expensive. Because there's twice right. as many parts there. So you got a whole bunch of gears up in here, and there's more what, sometimes here. What, we, what what happens is guys will grease these, but then they don't realize there's a crease port here, and so mm -hmm. then it, that doesn't get greased. But you know, yet this isn't wore out, but that is. And these are the ones that are a little more expensive, and they're harder to pull out on the old style. We haven't been in one of those yet. And it's lighter than previous versions. Yeah, this one does have a lot more, and it wants to do this on you a lot more because, you it's know, just because off. it has yeah. this. It's hanging off there. Is that, is it different than how it used to be? I feel like it wasn't, didn't come down like that much on the mm -hmm. old style one. It didn't. All right, guys. Let's see if it fits in here. Yep, yep. So I went for it big time. So there's the price right there. Five hundred thirty-four dollars ninety-five cents. Man. But you know. All right. So, uh, you know, at my local steel dealer, and um, so I got it, as you can see, and uh, you know, great guys to work with here. Um, you know, they they do all my uh, all my stuff. Um, you know, everything that's steel, anyway. And um, you know, uh really good service and they're local and they're fast um so i i appreciate them and uh i look forward to trying this thing out i mean you know i love my 94r trimmer which y'all know that and uh any of you other guys out there that have that have them you know know how great they are too i mean it's super lightweight but it's extremely heavy duty um you know it's kind of the new the new version of the old steel uh, they used to have an FS80, um, which is a two-stroke unit, uh, and it was, you know, professional, of course. My dad still has me. You know, I used it when I was growing up working with them. You know, they don't have them anymore. I used to have them, or they used to sell them. And the 94 is kind of like the, you know, the newest thing that's close to that. And so, uh, which y'all may not remember the AD if y'all are kind of new in the business, but... Um, it's a super great trimmer like that too, <laughs> you know, and a little less deluxe than that, you know, of course it's old, but, uh, you know, it was just a straight two stroke, uh, great trimmer, smoked a lot and you know, all that, um, but it's light and it was really strong and that's kind of how this 94, you know, this, I like, you know, I have the one, the KM 130, which is a four stroke model, obviously, and, uh, it's it's ridiculous strong. I mean, you can just you can mow down little trees with it and stuff. But you know, for my weekly, bi-weekly weed eating and trimming bushes at yards, you know, just trimming off a little growth here and there, it's just really not. It's not really necessary. And then uh, plus, you know, you have to adjust the valves and all that. And um, so I like this. I th I think I'm gonna have fun with this unit. Um, 
I couldn't decide, as you can see, I, I knew I liked this unit and I couldn't decide if I wanted the articulating one or not. Um, but, you know, it's $40 more for the articulating one. And yes, there are more moving parts that can go wrong, but I don't know, I just figured while I was already spending the money, 480 or 519, I was like, you know, what the heck? Because as y'all know, um, and I haven't even showed y'all all my yards, but 50% of my yards have bushes, you know, that are very tall. And, um, so, you know, that's where articulating one, it comes in handy big time for that. It's a little less easy to use, um, you know, on the small bushes, which I'll still, you know, now I'm going to use this on small bushes, you know, every day, but, um, because it's so light, you know, the, the new one that's not articulating. Um, so, but I mean, yeah, I like it. I think it'll be good. I think it'll be helpful for me. You know, I hated to spend that much money on a head trimmer. Uh, still think it's kind of silly that they cost that much, but I don't know. So, hope y'all are having a good day. Let's keep moving. Um... Yeah, I just meant to tell you, some of y'all might say, oh, you're not wearing your seatbelt, but I, you're totally right, because um, I I was thinking about talking to you guys, making this video, and I, was, I pulled out of the weeder place, and I wasn't wearing it, but I did, when I shot the video, I put it on, and I usually always do when I drive, and guys, that's a very important thing, even for us um, in the lawn business. I know sometimes I don't, like if I'm just in a neighborhood and I'm just going right down the street, you know, I don't, but it's an important thing, man. I mean, driving's a big thing, you know, it, uh, it's like the most dangerous thing any of us do even more than operating this equipment and stuff I mean so let's all just be careful out there because I want us all to be safe driving with these trailers and everything else so um, but anyway yeah so there's my story going to pick up the hedge trimmer I went full balls and got that one and uh, hopefully be good for us us me <laughs> So, I don't know, the future might have, I mean, you know, things are crazy in my business. I'm just like, I'm maxed out. And even right now, there's a, a neighbor that came over. He wants me to bid his, even right now in December. And um, speaking of that, I just remember that I need to submit that estimate. That was a couple days ago, so thank you all for reminding me. But um, anyway, let's keep moving.